Hello everybody, it's Mr. Braybrook here again, head of year seven for next year for you all. Uh, I'm just gonna show you around a few things that are in school and some of the areas of school you may not have seen already. The first one is, I know Mr. Verby's already shown you this area. This is the school hall. And this is where we'd meet normally on a Monday morning for assembly before school starts. So as soon as you come into school, you would come straight here when the bell goes. There'd be lots of seats that are, uh, that are laid out for you to sit in with your form group. Behind me, as you can see, is the stage. We've got a piano over my other shoulder as well. I'm going to walk you out now. We're going to go through the doors and we're going to go out towards the science block. Again, Mr. Griffin sort of walked you through some of that area, but not actually into the science block itself. Okay, so just walked out onto the, the balcony area, out the, the, the two main doors that come out of the out of the hall, which you can see behind me. I'm just going to walk across now um, the area here, which is known as one of our playgrounds towards the science block. You can see that for yourself now. Just walking out science block in front of us. Some of the area is cordoned off at the moment, just for the students that we've got in school at the moment. You can see behind me as I, I walk away from the main block area. I'm just going to go up the steps into the science block. Okay, so just coming into the foyer area of the science block now. Um, you always recognise it from the, the, the black and white tiling on the floor. So in this area, we've obviously got lots of classrooms. Um, there's classrooms along all the way around um, the, the lower area of this block. Um, and also behind me here, we have the science prep room where the prep staff will um, organise all the experimental equipment that's required within the lessons. You've also got a staircase here behind me um, and that takes you up to the next level where again, there's a ring of classrooms all the way around um, which, which you'll be, get, you'll be uh, taking some of your science lessons in. Okay, so that's just a quick whistle-stop tour of the science block. I'm going to walk back out the same doors, but normally you would walk out the back of the science block uh, to go to your next lessons. So i just come back out onto the playground again. Just going to make a, a short way over towards uh, what we call the craft block. In there, there's subjects uh, like food tech, art and design, textiles. So I'm just making my way across the playground again. Um, when I came out, I walked on the other side of the tents that you can see behind me. Okay, so I've just come through the doors. I'm into again another foyer area. If I turn, spin the camera around, lots of lockers behind me. Uh, you'll have the opportunity to have your own locker here um, when you get up, when you get to um, St Ivo's School, uh, which will be generally quite close to where your form room would be. Uh, behind me here, we've got some of the food tech rooms. I won't take you down there at the moment, but there's food tech classrooms down there. I'm going to walk down the corridor now um, towards uh, some of the art classrooms. Okay, so you can see as I'm walking down, lots of artwork all over the walls. I'll spin the camera around so you can see it. And then through some of these doors here, lots of art classrooms, which you will most definitely be using for your art lessons. Okay. I'm gonna go down the stairs now. Let me go to our design and technology area of the block. dark down here at the moment, not many people around. Um, again, this is another foyer area. You'd normally be able to come in and out of these doors here, but currently they're locked at the moment. You can see um, some metal gates just at the end and students would be able to come through and wait outside in that area to enter, their, um, to enter this block um, if they've got a design and technology lesson, which obviously means they don't need to go through the top, which I've just walked through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk through here. It's really dark at the moment, apologies for that. Lots of, tech, lots of um, design technology classrooms. Here's one of them behind me. See lots of the equipment in the background. Just gonna spin the camera around. And what I'm gonna do, it's the easiest way for me to get outside to where I need to go, is I'm just gonna walk, go through this classroom and then out the doors at the end. Again, this is a 
technology classroom you can see behind me. I'll just spin the camera around so you can see it just a little bit clearly. Okay. Okay. So what I've done now is I've come out the end of the block. I'm going to spin the camera around and you're going to see out on what we call the basketball courts and the bottom playground here. And that area you can see there is one of the main entrances into the, into the, the school. So there's some green metal gates here, um, which students in the morning would be able to come through. They'd automatically open um, in the mornings for you, for you to be able to come in. And then during the day, um, they're locked. So obviously people can't get in and out of them and staff have to use badges to come in and out. Um, and that takes you down, if you go outside there, it takes you down onto the car park um, where, where I'd imagine quite a lot of you know uh, the One Leisure Sports Centre and the Burgess Hall are. And the buses will come along through this route, um, just the other side of that red fence, all the way along the playground. They'll drop off there and then they'll make the work the service road, which we're going to walk along in a moment. So this area here is the basketball court. So when your first day in school with us, you'll come down to this area and this is where we'll meet and greet you. We'll sort out you into your, into your groups and we'll take you where you need to go. And this is also where we have our fire drills. So if there's ever a fire alarm that goes off or a practice alarm, this is where we come to meet and your each shooter group will be given a number where they have to come and stand on that line in their register order. Okay. And during the day, this is generally a playground for the older students in school. So years 9, 10 and 11 tend to come and play down here. I know that Mr Griffin, when he spoke to you in his video, uh, he showed you the science playground out the back of the science block where we just were, which is, which is just for year 7 and year 8. Sometimes use this area for, for PE, as you know, and PE teacher as well. So we teach quite a lot of things down here. Um, basketball courts are here as well. There's also small football pitches. And we sometimes teach some of our, our cricket on the hard area. And it's also a, a, a really well used area if the field is really, really wet. Okay, so as I said, the buses will end up coming along this, this fence here and then they come up onto the service road. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk along this, what we call the service road, up to the other end of the school. So I'm going to walk right past the side of the school and then we'll make our way up this path here. If I turn the camera, I'm going to make our way right up this path here, along the side, along the side of the school canteen. Apologies if the, the camera's a little bit wobbly. So we've got some of our mobile classrooms that we sometimes use. These ones are more often used by older students in school for things like media studies. I'm just walking up the other side. This block here is M block, which I know you've been shown before. And then this is the, the back of the dining hall. So these two sets of double doors they, they open out um, and obviously you can enter uh, in and out of the canteen that way. Okay, and that, this area down here takes you back down onto the, the middle playground, right in the distance there. That's pretty much where I started the video uh, at the hall and we'll end up there in a few moments. So I'm just walking up towards the gates. Again, similar to, to like at the bottom that I just showed you, set of green gates. They're open in the mornings. Okay. I'm gonna buzz myself in. You should allow me to open the gate so I can go. Yeah. And those would be open here normally. And I'm up onto uh, the roundabout. The students walk into school from this area and they can come into school along this path and take their way and make their way onto school sites in the mornings. You see there's the car park here for staff and over the back there is a field you can see some floodlights I should imagine they're there for the tennis courts. This is another way, another path that takes us bring breakfast uh, into school. You might have some idea about where I am now. Okay, there's another crossing. I can cross over the road safely here. 
and I can walk up onto, onto school site again. And so I'm just going to go through another, another set of, uh, of, of gates at the moment, but uh, they're going to be removed over the next few, next few weeks. Okay, so just walking along either side of me. So we've got the leads, so that's where our English and music classrooms are. Like I said, staff car park here, and then over the back there, you've also got the tennis courts and the field. If I carried on walking up there, I'd get to what we call the lodge. That's one of the PE areas. That's an area where students get changed to go onto the field. So I'm just gonna walk back down now through these gates at the front here. But lots of new fences put up since um, people have been off of school. Just going to walk around the gates and then go the other side of them. And this is obviously a go between between different areas in school. We've got the leaves over the back here, and then there's, it gets us through into into the main reception area as well. And I'm just going to make my way up this path here. We've got our dance studio, we've got here, and then we've got the other side of our of main block. I'm just going to go through these double doors. Okay, behind me we've got a student support unit, so lots of staff work in that area with, with students. And back through main block here. some computer classrooms at this end and in a few seconds I'll end up back in reception again I'm going to walk through reception okay so you see our reception area I'm going to walk through reception and then down some steps and then I'll end up back in our school hall again where I first started Okay, so I hope that's been helpful. Uh, it's difficult to be able to follow it uh, around all the way around the school to understand where you totally are, but hopefully it gives you some sort of idea of where things might be in school and what things might look, uh, look like as a bit of a point of contact for future when you come. All right, uh, so I look forward to seeing you uh, in September. Uh, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.